Thank you Timu for sponsoring this video. In today's video, I'll be sharing some incredible Timu items that every crafter will love. From stunning flowers and greenery, to must-have craft tools and supplies. I'll be sharing my honest thoughts on them and how I even put some of them to use. So let's get started. Timu is an amazing online marketplace where you can snag the best deals across all sorts of categories. Their prices are seriously budget friendly and they are the number one free app on the App Store. They also offer free shipping and returns for up to 90 days. I divided the items I got in three categories, starting with flowers and greenery. Now this section is my favorite of the three that I'll be sharing today, so I had to start out with it. Now because I do a lot of projects with flowers and greenery, I definitely had to try some of what Timu had to offer. First thing I'll be sharing are these beautiful flower bouquets. I picked out a couple of these rose bouquets. They stand just under 12 inches and they were only a couple of bucks. So I was really surprised at how stunning and gorgeous they were. I got one in pink and in purple and the colors and the quality was just so above what I paid for. You can definitely use these to make a beautiful wreath or on their own in a jar or in a vase. These flowers are absolutely beautiful and I am for sure going to be ordering more of these. I also got this adorable mini carnation bouquet. These are just as beautiful and they're great for crafting with or just placing in a vase. Honestly, there were so many flowers to pick from and now that I have an idea of the quality, I will definitely be ordering more in the near future. Next up are the long stem greeneries. This one's the Italian Ruscus stems. It came in a pack of two. I thought they were quite long and full. And again, you get two of them for that price. So I think these are just perfect to use as fillers or even on a mantle. These are the banyan branches with beautiful green leaves. The price is a bit more than the previous stems, but you can clearly see why. These are so beautifully made and it comes with two stems. These are quite tall, they stand a little over 43 inches in height, but you can easily trim that down if you want or bend the stems to get the height that you want, which is what I did. I thought these would be so beautiful in a large face. And even though I only had two, I still thought it looked really stunning. I also got this natural looking stem. It's so beautiful as well. The leaves are absolutely gorgeous and for a very low price. The leaves and the stem looks very realistic and I thought it was just such an awesome bargain. I put them in with the other two stems and I just thought it paired very well together. And the final item for this section are the dried flowers. Wow, look at the colors on these. It's so beautiful. There are so many dried flowers on Timu and the price is cheap. You really can't beat the price. I got such a good variation for a couple of dollars, so I will definitely be making some beautiful things with these in my upcoming videos. Now on to the craft supplies. Starting with wood, now there are a variety of affordable unfinished wood packs and I got this pack of 15 4 by 6 inch wood. And one thing that I love is just how nice and smooth they were. They weren't warped at all and they were really nice and flat. I love crafting with wood and I have so many ideas for upcoming fall and Christmas projects. Another wood pack that I got are these adorable wooden leaf cutouts. They come in a pack of 30 for only a couple of dollars, making it an incredible deal. You can use these to make some fall garlands or ornaments or to embellish with. Of course, the leaves are perfect for fall DIYs, but you are not limited to that because you can find different kinds of wood cutouts for various seasons and projects. Next are these small grapevine wreaths. They come in a pack of four in two different sizes. The ones I got were three and five inches. I love these for crafting or making ornaments or just for decor. You can easily add some greenery by inserting small stems here and there. I like to place a battery operated pillar candle in the center, creating an adorable little decor. For the smaller one, I did keep it simple by just wrapping some decorative jute wire right around. You can easily fit a small pillar candle right in the center. Now check out this vintage olive green contact paper. It has such a beautiful design. Unfortunately, as I was trying to unroll the contact paper, I accidentally ripped a small piece right at the start. I didn't realize I was doing that, but with that said, this contact paper does feel quite sturdy and strong. It is a little over three feet in length and you can use it on the walls or in furniture. 
This pattern is so pretty and Timu has such a variety of decorative contact paper or wallpaper just like that at such low prices. I have so many ideas for it and I just can't wait to share it with you soon. Next up is this roll of faux cane webbing. Now rattan cane webbing can be quite pricey, so I'm really glad that I found an affordable alternative for my DIY projects. Now this roll is just a bit over 3 feet in length and there are so many things you can make with these. I have several projects already planned out with these which I'll be sharing in my next video. Timu has a variety of scrapbook paper at a very low price and you'll definitely want to check out these adorable vintage Christmas scrapbook papers. They come in a convenient 6x6 inch size and the patterns are just so beautiful and classic. And what's even better, the quality is amazing. The papers do have a good weight to it, so you will definitely want these for your Christmas crafting. Then moving right along, check out these stencils. There were so many to choose from and I absolutely love crafting with stencils, so I did get several packs. This one's a 9 pack, reusable fall stencils. It even came with a metal ring to keep them all together, so that was nice. I also got this 4 pack with different seasonal designs, so there's definitely something you can use year round. I did try out the 9 fall pack to see how well it performed. So I grabbed a wooden pumpkin from Dollar Tree and I painted it in the shade pumpkin. And I'm going to be using the fall as my favorite color stencil. I place that right on top and I secure it with some painter's tape. I'm using white chalk paint to go over the design and once I'm done with that, I remove the stencil and it did stencil beautifully. To finish off the pumpkin, I dab on some antique wax on the edges and I wrap the stem with some jute twine. I also bridge the gaps with the matching paint. I'm definitely happy with how this one turned out. Now for the next stencil, I wanted to try out this adorable pumpkin design, but I will be honest, the design kind of threw me off. I noticed that one side of the pumpkin looked like it was missing something, but I really wasn't sure if it was just the angle of the pumpkin, so I went back to see if that really was the design intended, and yeah, it was, so I went ahead and tried it out. So after brushing the paint over the stencil, I used white chalk paint. I removed the stencil and, well, I thought it stenciled beautifully, but I really needed to make that side of the pumpkin look a little more symmetrical. So I went ahead and filled out that corner, and I did that just by flipping over the stencil as a guide, and now I thought it looked amazing. Now there are so many stencils to choose from on Timu, with large packs for just a few dollars, so I will definitely be ordering more. And the last item on the section is this pack of sponge paint brushes. There were definitely a variety of brushes to choose from and I love these yellow sponge brushes because they give such full coverage. This one was super cheap for a pack of 30, definitely one of the best prices I've seen online, so I had to test it out. I had a face that I thrifted and I wanted to give it a quick makeover. So I mixed some chalk paint with some baking soda and I brushed that on all over the face with the sponge brush. The paintbrush was great, I love the quality, and it did an excellent job in painting the vase beautifully. Now the first thing in this section is this mini desk vacuum, and I'm absolutely loving it. Now I know this isn't exactly a craft tool, but it is a handy tool for keeping your workspace clean while working on DIY projects. I love the design of it. It's really small and just handy to have on my desk. Now I do like keeping my workspace clean just so that no dust or debris gets on my projects, especially when they're freshly painted. And this mini desk vacuum does a fantastic job in cleaning up. Next up is this mini heat press. This came in a couple of colors and I got the purple one. This also came with a couple transfers to test out and a nice little drawstring bag to keep it in. Now one thing that I really like about this heat press is that there are multiple heat settings from 100 to 400 degrees compared to the three settings on others that I've seen. So I tested out the sample on a tote bag my kids use and it worked perfectly. It glided nicely over the fabric. It is small and lightweight, but it did heat up rather quickly. Next is this upholstery staple remover. These are always handy to have on hand and I'm always repurposing and removing staples and this tool makes it so easy to do that. It really makes it effortless and it's only a couple of dollars. I also got this rotary cutter. Now this cuts really well. I tried it over some thick and coarse burlap and it cut nicely. I also tried it on thick paper and contact paper. This is quite sharp, but it does have a locking button. And finally, I got these painters stand. 
these came in a pack of 10 and these are just one of those things that made me think, now why didn't I ever get that before? Especially with all the painting that I do and waiting for stain to dry and these were so inexpensive. Now you can lock these together. You can stack them for more height. And the best part is using them to paint towels. I love how you can use them in different ways, so definitely something I will be buying more of. So there you go, I definitely had a lot of fun and overall it was a great experience shopping on Timu. To check out the items that I got, please check out the links in my description box below. Until next time, bye!